Today on BRS TV's 52 FAQ, we're calibrating our controller's temperature probe. Hi, I'm RT, one of your hosts of BRS TV, with another episode of 52 FAQ, where each week we answer questions from our popular 52 Weeks of Reefing series. This week, we're answering Mark Morgan's question from week 42, how do you calibrate a controller's temperature probe? We'll cover why you may need to consider calibrating your probe, as well as an overview of how to do so on some popular controllers. In week 42, we showed how 5 to 10 minutes of work on your tank a day can equal years of success and shared what our daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly maintenance schedule looks like for the BRS-160. One of the most important parameters to keep track of in your reef tank is temperature. It plays a key role in your aquarium inhabitant's metabolism. A stable and accurate temp in your tank is one of the most important steps towards success. With that said, a lot of heaters out there in the market have a temperature swing of a few degrees using the integrated controller. By simply hooking that heater up to an aquarium controller like a Reef Keeper, Apex, Cerebra, or any of the many options out there, it allows more stable control of your temperature, as well as the ability to calibrate the temp for more accurate results. Regardless of which controller you have, the first step to calibrating your temp probe will be to gather a reading from your aquarium using multiple thermometers. This allows you to average your reading to try and minimize the effect of variances between your devices. To perform the calibration on a Reefkeeper light on the head unit, press Menu. Scroll down and select Modules and then RKL. You'll see iTemp and Temperature will be displayed on the screen. Press Enter. Select Calibrate and then match the calibration set point with the reading you collected earlier. Press Enter until the screen goes back to a flashing Calibrate and then press back till you're at the main display. On the Reefkeeper Elite, it's a little different. Press the In button to navigate to the controller inputs, and then scroll down to the SL1 module and select it. You'll see an option for temp. Select it, and it'll bring you to the calibration menu. Simply adjust the target to the reading you collected earlier to calibrate, and then save your changes. The Apex Classic from Neptune Systems is just as easy to calibrate from the display module. Press the center select button to access menus and scroll down and select setup. Then select temp setup, temp calibrate, and finally the probe you wish to calibrate to access its calibration screen. Adjust the temp value to the reading that you collected earlier and hit OK to save the changes. Neptune Systems' new Apex allows calibration right from the cloud-based Apex Fusion. First, click the gear icon to expand your options and press the probe icon. Then, find your temp probe from the list of options, select it, and it'll bring you to the temperature configuration screen. Press the orange automatic probe calibration button and follow the on-screen steps to calibrate. Input the temperature that you gathered earlier into the temperature field, hit next and finish to save. Navigate back to the Fusion dashboard and you should see your newly calibrated temp probe reading. Calibrating the temp probe on the Vertex Cerebra is extremely easy. Simply click the temp probe icon, calibrate, and then enter your calibration temp with the reading that you collected earlier. One quick tip, calibration is something that I like to work in my maintenance schedule. Every six months, it doesn't hurt to check the accuracy of your temp probe against a few thermometers. This ensures that the calibration doesn't slip too far out of line over time. One final note, 52 Weeks of Reefing will be back with a brand new episode next week. There are only a handful of episodes left and this will be one you don't want to miss. If you've been following along on your controller, I hope that your current calibration wasn't too far off and if so, I've been able to help you recalibrate your controller's temperature probe. To learn more, check out our controller mini-series from 52 Weeks of Reefing starting with week 43, Aquarium Controllers, protecting your tank, wallet, and space. If you have any questions or tips for us or the BRS community, share them in the comments area down below. In today's poll, we're asking, what do you keep your temperature at? So please vote and let us know. I'll see you in the next BRS 52 FAQ, where we answer Peg Leg Clegg's question from week 30. Can I use a dosing pump to add Kelkwasser to my aquarium?